I thought you were at that suppliers meeting. Oh, cancelled. Got the days mixed up, sorry. Oh. Well, don't let it happen again. I won't. Well, shouldn't you get back to work? You gave me the afternoon off, remember? Oh. Of course. You know, I meant what I said. I'm sorting those payment errors you made. No one needs to know. Thanks. I think I'll have a power nap before I get back to it. No rest for the wicked, eh? exactly called tossing and turning a nap if you're gonna live in this house then respect my privacy that you left it open I just glanced at it that's all sorry and uh, what did you glance at your dementia test are you sure you need more tests the doctor didn't find anything last time I only had blood tests. This is a proper dementia test. Well, I still don't think you've got anything to worry about. I have to find out what's wrong. I should prepare Jamie. You sure? Well, if it is dementia, we need to make plans. Well, yeah, but it's not confirmed yet. What's the point in upsetting him now? The test is tomorrow. Well, that's why you shouldn't tell Jamie. You know, if you tell Jamie and he lets slip to Andrea, she might connect the dots. What do you mean? With the Millie incident. What if she thinks there's a link? You don't want to open up that old can of worms before you're sure, do you? I need some fresh air. Do you want me to come with you? Do what you like. Can I help you? I... I was just... Just what? Looking for Jamie. On my laptop? It's not what it looks like. <laughs> really? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you've been caught red-handed. <laughs> Yesterday, you were watching me with Kim, and now you're going through my laptop. Why? My phone died. I, I just wanted to message my mum. What, and taking the short walk into the village was too much for you? You know what? I've always liked you. Really? Yeah. You're not like all the other guys around here. You're easy to talk to. I feel like I could tell you anything. You can, if you want. Yeah, and you can tell me anything. Come on, no, it's only us. You can tell me the truth. I promise I won't get angry. I was just checking up on you. Why? Because I was asked to. By Jamie. What? Why? He didn't know what you were up to with Kim. <laughs> and then you had loads of money for new clothes. He thinks you're up to no good. You know, I have a job. What I spend my money on is none of his business. OK. What about the laptop? What about it? What were you doing? Just work stuff, rescheduling a meeting. No, wait, you know me, don't you? I guess. Why would I lie to you? I thought we were getting close. Are we? Yeah. Don't you feel it? 
Look, Jamie's just paranoid, OK? I'm willing to forget what you did if you keep this between us. Then I'll make it worth your while. Really worth your while. Hi, how was your walk? Pleasant. Apart from the stray that followed me home. Stray? Behave. Anyway, I better get back to work. Thanks for today. That, uh, chat we had earlier. Which chat? The test. You were right. It's one thing you knowing, but Jamie's my son. I can't put that pressure on him before it's confirmed. Yeah, I think that's wise. OK. Just wait and see. Right. I think we've said enough about my private life. I'm sure you've got lots of things to do. You going 